Hey, what's up, guys? Sam from Cubi Studios here. Continuing my Dawn of Destiny series. You might remember it from a long time ago when I said I was going to start this series and then just didn't. Um, well, I did start it, but then I just dropped it like a rock because I got super busy. And because this is frustratingly hard. Mostly because I, you can see I only have like two losses against these guys. So I guess it shouldn't be that hard, but it's just... I can't even get past the Pharaoh. The first duel, I don't even touch him. Both times, didn't even get his life points down past 4,000. And he's just the first one. So you're going to watch me try again. I've done a bit of grinding. Let's see what I can do. All right, Pharaoh. Let's see if I can actually hurt you this time. Okay, maybe I actually will be able to if you're playing Mystical Elf and face-up attack position first turn. And then no spell and trap cards to back it up. All right. Let me see. You are a fiend, which means I can equip it with you with this. Do some hardcore damage first turn. Should I do that? I think that's going to be my first turn. Let's just get right out there and do some heavy damage. This kind of leaves me open, but at the same time, you know, i got to take risks. Although this is a pretty high level, I mean not high level, but a pretty decent attack for a uh, regular summon. Although I guess that's not really true in this game. Especially for the Pharaoh, because his deck's pretty powerful. But again... Just need to try and get this out of the way. Just like rapidly do a lot of life point damage to him. Because he already is, has only 4,000. So we'll see. Oh, if he's playing. Is that Gemini Elf? Oh, it's totally Gemini Elf. Like the one one monster I know. At least that I know of in this game. That you can just summon and have way more than attack than that. Right there. There it is. Woo! I now have two cards in my deck that could get, stop that card. That's it. So that's irritating. Already, I don't have like anything powerful enough to get rid of that. Well, I, like I said, I have two. Because I already used up my uh, equipped spell card, so... It's just not a good situation for me right now. Mystical Tomato, Mystic Tomato, excuse me, I said Mystical it's Mystic. That'll give me another monster to set down at least so I can start building up a wall. But, I mean, it's not gonna matter. I, let's see, what do I get here? What do I get? What do I get? Ah, fuck it. Doesn't really matter, because, I mean, they're all inferior, and I'm going to switch them to defense mode next turn, but... Give me, like, something I can sacrifice for. Actually, they're... This will hold the line, at least. Sweet. Okay, so I'm glad Mystic Tomato's effect worked. That's the thing. That'll hold the line, but that won't fucking knock it down. That well, he, I have nothing to really draw out the Pharaoh with, and I'm sure he can eventually get rid of that card. There's a sac double sacrifice. What's he summoning? Gaia. Gaia the Fierce Knight. I already know his deck. The AI is, of course, not going to attack because it knows it doesn't have enough attack power to take it down. That's because the AI cheats. It cheats, man. It cheats. And I'm not okay with that. Mystical Elf is trying to lure me into attacking him. And it's totally going to work. I will absolutely attack that, maybe. Okay, maybe not, because I don't want to wait. Gemini Elf. Is this... What how, kind of boost is that? 300. 2,200. Okay, it'd be 100 short. Okay, well, I potentially have enough. I need to get my field spell card, Yami, that will give it also another 200 boost, because it's a spellcaster. Once I have both of those, I will be able to attack Gaia and destroy it. But I need both of those spell cards, or I need Cosmo. Nope, that's not Cosmo. Hmm, do I want to attack into that and then just hope for the best and like realize Gaia is going to kill me, but I'll only lose a couple life points? Ah, it's a hard decision. Let's set this for now, even though he's probably going to attack it with Gaia. It, the, if he does by chance decide to attack with the other two monsters, I'll do some life point damage to him. But something tells me the AI is just going to attack with Gaia, because why wouldn't he? Okay, there you go. The flip of the two monsters in defense mode. See, the AI is very, like, irritatingly defensive. And I say that, like, it's so annoying that they just, just like, won't attack into you. Like, sometimes I just really want it to attack into me. Because... I need to do stuff. I mean, granted, sometimes this works in my favor when I, like, clearly got nothing. Like, I'm s I've am set a monster with, like, 600 defense, and the AI is like, okay, better not attack here. It's in my best interest. Fuck. Okay, well, 
it'll do 1100 damage to itself. But now Millennium Shields face up, and that's not good, because he might have something that can take that out. Because uh, I don't, still. I don't like that Gaia. I just want to get rid of that. Whatever that is, I don't trust. Okay, negate attack. That's not really that effective. That might have been a waste, but I also would have to discard a card this turn anyway. Well, I guess I could have set it, but eh, fuck it. I do not regret my decision to activate things. I guess I could have set something. Gemini Elf, of course, attacking my Magnet Warrior, so now I lose another monster. <sighs> oh, Guy of the Swift Knight, or Fierce Knight, not Swift. Swift would be just as annoying, though. Luckily, my Millennium Shield holding the line. I don't know why he flipped those. Congratulations on flipping those monsters. Ooh, Penguin Soldier. This would be a good one. To flip and then send. Ooh. I am intrigued. I am intrigued. So if I send two back, well, I wouldn't be able to destroy enough for him not to be able to get Gaia out the very next turn, but... Let's see. He'd still have three monsters in the field. Alright, let's get rid of... You and Gemini Elf. Wow, okay. Is that. Damn it! There's Dark Magician, and now I've got really nothing. I for sure have nothing that can. Well, my uh, Cosmo Queen can take that out, but I'd have to draw a Cosmo Queen and then also coincidentally have enough monsters to fucking stop the Cosmo Queen from attacking, which I don't. Let's set this for no reason specifically. Oh, uh, Yeah, I'm kind of screwed here. I'm kind of between a rock and a hard place. There's really nothing uh, to do here. I'll lose Celtic Guardian. I don't see myself winning this duel. Like, I got nothing. Well, that's not true. I've got something. But the thing is now, I can't just go ahead and activate Yami and use Gemini Elf to kill Dark Magician, because obviously Dark Magician is also a spellcaster, which puts me in a difficult position, because now I only have one possible way to kill Dark Magician. Yep. And that, yeah, that's, I mean... If I have to draw him out, that would be really irritating. I Because this deck's not built to do that. And it shouldn't have to happen. But like I said, because the initial deck in this game is so bad, I got nothing. I guess I could attack with Gemini Elf and do some life point damage to something. Well, there would be no significant life point damage that makes it worth it. To any of those monsters. God damn, dude. This is the third tower. This is like... What? This game's gonna be hard. This game's gonna be super hard. Okay, there goes Gemini Elf again. Flips that in defense mode for sure. Why not? I mean, Millennium Shield's big. At least having Millennium Shield, it's gonna be like my marshmallow of this game. If you're a fan of this channel, then you know how I feel about Marshmallow and my absolute adoration for him. Uh... Yeah, shit. He, I've got to, like, make it so he doesn't attack. That's the only way I can get Cosmo Queen out. But I know he's going to, because why wouldn't you? Okay, maybe Cosmo Queen won't even do it now. If he's fucking getting... who? Okay. No, Cosmo Queen will still come in the clutch. Against, uh... Dark Chaos Magician, but... Just barely. I have no idea how I can stall him, though. I don't have any, like... Well, I do have a negate attack. If I drew negate attack, I could sacrifice for him. Barely. Just 100 point... Well, I can equip it with Secret Book of Arts, but, you know. There's no way the AI doesn't attack. Why wouldn't it not attack? Man, it's so irritating, because I've finally done damage to him. I actually got rid of half of his life points. Okay, see... I know he's got Regeki, and if he uses Regeki, that would destroy me right now. 
Regaki sucks. I, I'm so glad it's banned now for what, as I'm playing through Millennium Duels, but man, is it irritating and everything else. Okay, this boosts Spellcaster types. He's f Spellcaster. He obviously is too, though. That's annoying. That's so annoying. So... I really got nothing. Like, it's just gonna be- it's just a game of cat and mouse at this point, where I gotta hope that I have more cards than him. I don't remember if I went first or not. And that's irritating. Just don't attack. Don't attack me. Please don't attack. Okay, Horde, do it anyway. Ugh. What happened to the cautious AI that's like, uh I don't need to do that. Okay, cool. That's another thing that's useless to me. I don't want to activate this because I don't want fucking... Well, yeah, see, because then Chaos Magician would be almost enough to take out my fucking Millennium Shield. I don't want that. So I really can't activate Yami. I could have used Yami a while ago and they probably won by now. This is infuriating. Like, how long this duel is? He had 4,000 life points! Okay. Forget it. Don't worry about it. We're, we're fine. We're not annoyed. This is the king of games here. I should be expecting... Oh! Negate attack. Here we go. Here we go. This is gonna be kind of an all or nothing situ... Oh, I forgot to set a monster. Fuck me! I was so hype about it. Okay, what are you gonna do? Battle phase? Okay, sweet. Great. Glad you... Glad we had that discussion. See? Okay. By summoning Cosmo Queen. Alright. Let's set this. I run the risk of getting like trap hold or some shit. And if I get trap hold, then it's game over by getting rid of my Millennium Shield. But I really want to make this duel not a fucking standstill. Yes. Negate attack. We're gonna do it. We're just we have to do it. There's no way. This is a win-lose situation right here. This is it. I have to trust in the heart of the cards that I can pull this off, and this is not trap hole. It just has to. It just can't be. He has 16 cards left. How many do I have left? 15. Yup, I have to, cause he'll he'll uh, make it. I went first. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Don't be trap hole. Don't be trap hole. Oh my god, don't be trap hole. Oh, it wasn't trap hole. Oh, it wasn't trap hole. Oh, it wasn't trap hole. Yes, I'm going to. I'm going to equip it. No! Okay, that's fine. Magic jammer, whatever. I d okay, that's fine. It still has more than enough. It still has more than enough attack. And more than enough, I mean a hundred. But yes. Get out of here, Magician of Black Chaos. Only a hundred life point damage, but I mean, that's it. Cosmo Queen is already safely on the field. Well, he could have Regeki. Fuck! Why did I mention that? Knock on fucking wood. He doesn't, he's not gonna play it. <sighs> okay. Alright. We can start getting aggressive now here, folks. We can start getting aggressive. Be, be aggressive. I can play Yami now that I'm on the offensive. So I can get rid of also that, too. Let's do it. Do -do 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 -do. Enter battle phase. Let's just pick off monsters that I know don't have effects for now. Because, you know, that's the safe way to play it. I gotta finally break down this dude's fucking, the pharaoh's giant ass wall that he's established. Let's get rid of a spellcaster. Okay. We're making progress here, folks. And I like it. I like it a lot. I mean, it's still burnt more, like, more than half the deck. We're like 15 minutes in and I still haven't even beaten the pharaoh, but... I digress. Okay, now I can summon Slate Warrior to also do some damage. I think his attack will also go up 
It will indeed. So now I have nothing but two thousand, at least 2,000 point monsters out in the field. Let's have... I'm going to get have these guys attack first and get rid of these two. Just because this is the safe bet, and then I'll have Cosmo Queen attack one of the safe... The face down ones. Because if, I mean, if it's man eater bug, it's man eater bug, and it's going to attack, and it's going to kill me either way. But at least I can, or at least it's not something that like ends the attack phase, and he ends up with like five monsters again. Okay, sweet. I might finally do this, folks. Again, a Regeki here would be huge, because I think he still has Gaia in his hand, actually. Set. Okay, sweet. That'll actually be game. Unless some crazy shit happens, that should be game. Summon. Say no to crazy shit. Hashtag say no to crazy shit. Attack you. Use my high powered monsters, because any of my monsters on the field right now can wipe him out. Boom. Just to be safe. Oh no! Uh, he didn't get out, didn't escape this duel without him doing another. God. That's infuriating. So infuriating. Didn't escape this duel without him doing another 100 damage to me and him hanging on by another fucking thread. Slate Warriors on the field now to kill. <sighs> there goes another 300 total. You're, you're annoying. I just want you to know that, Yami Yugi. You're so annoying. You couldn't just lay down and die. Okay, you attack this Slate Warrior. You attack the other Slate Warrior, and then I can win. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. I was going to summon another monster, but I want to not bother now. Boom. Slate Warrior, take out Slate Warrior. This is kind of a waste on my part, but I mean... That was kind of cool effect that I wanted to see. And then win. Alright, so I only took 500 dam life point damage from the Pharaoh. I'll accept that. I'll accept that. Ah, uh, what's your speech? Wow, you won barely. Barely! Oh my god. You make a mockery of me. Bakura now. Hopefully it doesn't have anywhere near as powerful of a deck. I don't need to edit my deck. I didn't win any cards. What would I edit with my, my deck? He looks so not evil. It's weird. It's very weird. Come on, Bakura. It's time to duel. And for you to probably beat me, because you're the AI and you're OP. You are so OP. Alright, but the big, the big hurdle, I believe, is down. What is this? Uh, I guess I don't. Well, I don't have a fiend thing, so I'm gonna summon Mystic Tomato just in case he destroys that. I still have another monster. We're gonna call that. That's gonna be my solid first turn. Play something in defense mode, please. Go on the defensive. You're the the AI in this game likes to go on the defensive. Nope. What is that? Yeah. Sure. I mean, if it's an attack, I don't know why I'm doing this. I couldn't even see its attack. I probably should have waited until he declared an attack. Whatever. We'll scare him into not making an attack. I, like, panic press that button. Is it powerful enough to take me out? I, I really didn't even look. Uh, was it? Yep. Wow, actually, it's strong enough to get rid of any of my monsters. But I really should have waited until battle phase to activate that, but that's fine. Won't critique that too much. This needs to be a fiend, right? I don't have a fiend. And I don't have anything above 1650, which means you go into defensive mode, defensive position, whatever. You get set. Damn. I'm on the run again from the AI, and that's really not what I want to do. I want to be aggressive, and I want to knock him out. <sighs> Who is that? That's his, like, fucking equipped spell monster that it's going to be impossible for me to deal with. Once that thing gets going, man, it's going to be scary as shit. Special summon a monster to the field. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, I can't summon anything above 1500. Why did I do that? No! 
Because that's just going to cost me life points. I should have said no. I forgot that it has to be an attack position. And, ugh. Don't wipe that fucking smug face off. Mwah. Yeah, now I'm just biding my time. Until I can get something with 17 or higher. Or I can get a fiend monster that I can equip dark energy to. Oh, fiend sword, actually. Probably fiend, right? Was that a waste? Did I just completely waste that? I might have just completely wasted that. We'll see. LOL. I'm not good. I'm... Yeah, I'm really not good. This fiend sword... My ticket, did I completely misjudge that and then lose both of those monsters for no reason? Let me see. Fiend sword is not fiend. Okay. Just wanted to be sure that I didn't like waste my card. Still know what I'm doing then. If only Magnet Warrior had his attack and defense flipped. But I mean, it's going to be too late soon because something tells me he's going to start equipping his cards. Oh my god, he has all three out already. I mean, that's going to be game, right? Because its effect is like, if I get equipped with equipped spell cards, I am severely OP. OP. In addition to the effects of equipped cards, the attack of this monster is increased by 500 for each card equipped with this monster. That's scary as fuck. Okay. This is Fiend, though. I can summon him in attack mode. Please don't be trap hole. And then I can equip my own equipped spell card to it. A spell card? Ya boy! Now let's start taking out... I know what you're thinking. I should attack this. But I want to get rid of these guys. These girls, I should say. Because they will be the trouble. I mean, one spell card and they're already going to be too strong for me. Or one equipped card and they're going to be too much, but... Because, man, 500 point boost is huge. I imagine he'll get one this turn. Okay. Maybe into those in defense position, do I have enough power to take those out? Because he still hasn't equipped them with anything. That might be clutch for me. Let's see. 400. Oh, I do have some 500 point monsters, right? Does this have a defense of 1600 as well? Okay. But as long as I've got something with... Ah! Aha! We will summon you. These two don't really need to be flipped. Well, I'll flip them anyway to attack the face down thing. So let's flip you. At least we'll eliminate... I'll know he'll have no more of his signature like equipped spell gain 500 extra be super scary monster get rid of you and then get rid of you games like lagging because it's like no that might be it hopefully this is probably risky attacking this face down card nope paid off okay sweet so next turn I might be able to start doing some damage hopefully We'll complete this turn. This might be a scary combination right here. This might not be, uh, this might not be stopped. This Space Typhoon, I mean, that sucks, but he still has 1800 attack, which is still nice, so I'm not too worried. Uh, okay. Let's see. Set this, just in case, because why not? Let's leave you in defense position. Well, no, actually, switch to attack. Because I can win, probably. Enter battle phase. You can take out him still. And then we'll use Great Shark, or Great White, excuse me. Probably Great Shark would have been a better name, because Great White is already a thing. Right? Great White's. It looks like he has a fucking penis fin, by the way. This game should be rated M for Mature, if you want to go back a few frames and look at that. Hey! I'll have 7,000 life points to deal with Shoddy now. Was that racist, that I said that like that? I hope that wasn't. I'm totally not. <laughs> Whoops. That <laughs> didn't mean to be offensive with that, I might have totally been though. Ooh, look at that fucking- what is that monster? I actually don't know what that is. What, do you have the Millennium Eye? You can't do any of that shit. 
Man, if you don't have the Millennium Eye, I don't see how you're peering into my thoughts and figuring out anything about me. I, for once, also didn't have to go first, but it might not matter, because I didn't, well, I don't really see what he summoned, but... I have such a life point advantage, I cleared the first... Okay, that's only 1200 attack, I like that. I like the things that are happening here. We're gonna set this. Set this. And then I can just attack right away. I'm gonna go on the aggressive. Because I don't want that thing going into defense position, because that'll be a day and a half to deal with. It's probably stupid attacking right into both those trap cards. Ugh, isn't it? What does this do? What'd that do? I didn't see what that did. I guess it just made him gain life points. Okay, that's not too bad. Whatever. Yeah, you gain those life points, man. Sweet. And if he gets summoned something that's way too powerful to, for me to attack, which he won't, but if he did, negate attack, summon Millennium Shield. Boom. Ooh, Maneater Bug. But I'm going in the aggressive right now. I totally don't need Maneater Bug. Might need him later, though. So it's good that I drew him. Oh, attack with you? Something tells me this is like 2,000 defense. Or oh, that's negate attack. Ah. That's fine, though. Not worried. Not too... Although I am worried about his massive life point gain. Even though I did damage, he still has a significant amount. But again, I still have a 3,000 point advantage on him. Uh, what? That was probably Millennium Shield, right? Is it safe to assume that was Millennium Shield? I don't want to set Royal Decree right now, because I have some cards. We're going to set Maneater Bug. And then not attack. I will actually not attack for once. I'm gonna play it smart. Something tells me that was Millennium, or that was, yeah, Millennium Shield. If I hazard a guess. Let's see. Let's flip you. This doesn't have to be face up, right? Okay, yep. Boom. Let's take that out. Because, was I intelligent in this call? Ah! Haha! -ha! It was. Oh, I feel satisfied with that. Oh, that was great. A smart play, didn't lose any life points, took out Millennium Shield. Oh, I'm very satisfied with this. Okay, another negate attack. Man! Are you trying to draw me out here? It's a high defense, a lot of defensive monsters. Fucking probably, nah, I actually can't switch man your bug back in defense mode. I will. That's probably another, like another fucking negate attack, but. Okay. I'm just gonna have to keep attacking into him. I actually, with only one summon space left, I'm not gonna summon another monster. Uh, I could sacrifice man eater bug for Millennium Shield. I'm gonna leave him on the field for now, though. In defense mode, in case it's like Mirror Force or something. I don't know. I'm gonna play it smart though, because I've been doing this. I've been getting frustrated. God! Oh, wait. Let's activate this. Let's see if I don't lose life point damage and can take that out. I need a three. I need a four or higher, actually. I need half. Like, I have half a chance of getting this. Okay, sweet. Sweet. That paid off. It really paid off. Awesome. That was that was a clutch skull die roll. So now I'm able. Now he is wide open for attack. Not only can I do damage this turn, but I'll, he'll only be able to set one monster at a time. He won't be able to get that Millennium Shield out again if he's got another. And just fuck you. I've won this. All right. Knock on wood again. I'm getting too cocky. I might have totally not won this yet, but. Again, I still have like a negate attack. I'm still sitting pretty, pretty. That's another 1400 point monster. Come on now. I need some more oomph to the deck. What is this? Needle worm? Ha! Ha ha! I actually might not win this turn. Oh no. Eh, I lost some decent cards, but nothing like too big. But yeah, I've already won, so. I think. Yep. So it doesn't matter. Finally. Welcome back to the Dawn of Destiny Let's Play series. I'm no longer frustrated, got some free time, and finally, 
took this guy, this tower down. Not only for the first time doing damage, damage to the Pharaoh, but just straight up. One. Totally, man. I am the people's champion. Obelisk. I don't think a single one of those cards is even, like, mediocre. Are you kidding me? I did beat that tower for fucking those cards? And these guys all suck, by the way. I've beat them all on expert mode and Millennium Duels. I'm surprised that these, this tower, or this uh, triple, was before this triple. Like, what? Who cares about these people? Weevil, Rex Raptor, Mako, Mako Tsunami. In the next part. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Be sure to share and subscribe. Follow us on Twitter and Twitch. Those links are in the description. Hope you liked it. Let me know if you're excited that this series is back finally. Because I know it's been a long time in the making. If people have been clamoring for it. Alright, see you guys around. Thanks for watching again. Bye-bye.